Data shows that all types of gun violence from homicides to suicides to mass shootings are on the rise in the United States. This video may be the first successful step forward in the effective control of a phenomenon that is potentially based on growing behavioral or personality disorders. On March 27, 2023, a mass shooting occurred at the Covenant School, a private Presbyterian parochial school in the Green Hills neighborhood of Nashville, Tennessee. In the accident, a 28-year-old Nashville man fatally shot three children and three adults, leaving behind writings and detailed maps of the school and its safety protocols. The shooter, identified as former student Audrey Elizabeth Hale, was killed by police officers. In this latest episode of gun violence that has rocked American families and communities, an assailant opened fire just after 10 a.m. at a school in the affluent Green Hills neighborhood where children from kindergarten through sixth grade had just started their last full week of classes before Easter break. The U.S. population woke up to the news of this mass shooting after three shootings in California over the course of a week earlier this year. The nonprofit Gun Violence Archive which counts shootings where four or more people are killed or injured, not counting the shooter, has recorded 131 such incidents in the United States since the beginning of the year. This is more mass shootings than in previous years, according to an organization that publicly tracks firearm-related deaths and injuries in the U.S. The data shows that there are more such incidents every year, as 2020, 2021 and 2022, were much more deadly than previous years. The surge in violence reignited what has become a well-known and highly political debate in the United States over gun rights and legislation. Jillian Peterson Associate Professor of Criminology and President of the Violence Project, a nonprofit research center, says there is no universal definition of school shootings. According to her, mass school shootings have a very narrow definition of where someone arrives, is heavily armed, shoots indiscriminately and kills four or more people. The federal government currently does not track the specifics of school shootings, and while Peterson says they have been relatively rare in recent years, there has been an increase in the frequency of general violence on school campuses that is undeniable, regardless of the methodology involved in collecting the data. U.S. President Joe Biden responded to the recent school shooting by renewing his call for gun control laws, but his desire for sweeping new reform faces familiar obstacles, with Republicans controlling the House of Representatives and Democrats holding a slim majority in the Senate, efforts to pass new gun control laws face significant challenges. To control cases of mass shootings, the courts began to involve the parents of the alleged students in the trial. Recently, the Michigan Court of Appeals ruled that the parents of a boy who shot four high school friends must stand trial for manslaughter. Ethan Crumley, 16, pleaded guilty to terrorism and murder charges for carrying out the Oxford High School shooting in November 2021. His parents were charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter. Prosecutors argued that James and Jennifer Crumley gave their son easy access to guns and ignored warning signs. The ruling is a rare case in the United States, where prosecutors want to hold parents accountable for their child's role in a mass shooting. The Think Town One team has reviewed what has changed over the years in Western societies, especially in the United States, and traced the related psychological phenomenon that is responsible for changing behavior, especially among youth. According to the findings, most incidents of mass shootings are underpinned by certain personality states, including mental disorders, and most of them occur during the spring seasons, when the highest incidences of psychological imperatives are recorded. Seasonal depression, previously known as seasonal affective disorder, involves symptoms that come and go as the seasons change. The latest edition of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, DSM-5, officially recognizes the condition as a major depressive disorder with seasonality. Most often, symptoms of seasonal depression appear in the fall and winter and improve with the arrival of spring, but this is not always the case. People can experience this phenomenon in reverse, when mood swings begin in spring and continue into summer. The work of sociologists Ralph Larkin and Natalie E. Payton and psychologist James Gilbertson, who spent months with students of alleged mass shootings to assess psychological causes, reveals that almost all of them suffered from one or another type of behavioral or psychological disorder, including ASD or autism spectrum disorder. According to their findings, the standard uniform of school shooters is a duster and the spring season is the best time for such incidents, 
which is also considered the peak time for mental and behavioral disorders. According to research, all the truly devastating tragedies like the Titanic, Columbine, the Oklahoma City bombing, and the Boston bombing, happened during the spring season. The findings show that those alleged in the first seven major shooting cases, Lacatus, Ramsey, Woodham, Carniel, Johnson, Golden, Wurst and Kinkle, were unrelated and peculiar personalities. Lacatus was obsessed with Stephen King's novel The Rage, written under the pseudonym King Richard Bachman, about a high school student who kills his algebra teacher with a pistol. Kip Kinkle was playing Wagner's Liebestad over and over again on the morning of the attack. Evan Ramsey's father thought his son was influenced by the Doom video game. The parents of several of Michael Carniel's victims are suing the makers and distributors of the Basketball Diaries. In the same vein, sociologist Natalie E. Payton analyzed online videos created by post-Columbine shooters and found a repetitive set of stylized images. The moment the killer points his gun at the camera, then at his temple, then spreads his arms wide with a gun in each hand, rapprochement, goodbye wave at the end. He writes that school shooters clearly name or represent each other, he mentions one that refers to Cho as a comrade in arms, another who notes that his cultural tastes are similar to those of Eric and Dylan, the third, which uses images from the Columbine shooting surveillance camera, and dedicates several videos to the Columbine killers. He notes, this aspect highlights the fact that the boys are actively involved in joining the group. Based on such in-depth studies and the results of extensive research, it can be concluded that the changing involvement and social activity of students, and the widening gap between students and their patents, are the main causes of behavior and personality disorders among students, reaching the level of mental states, causing cases of mass shootings. A change in parental preferences and greater involvement in children's affairs can bring about a huge positive change. Here we have given general and more important specific guidelines on how parents can develop their children's personalities into peace-loving, non-violent beings. General guidelines include Maintain a supportive, loving relationship with your children. Spend time with them regularly. Reinforce your children's positive behavior with praise. Build your children's self-esteem. Children who feel good about themselves are better able to cope with difficult social situations. Set limits, such as no spanking or verbal abuse. Instead of spanking physical punishment, use alternatives such as timeouts, consequences or withdrawal of privileges. More importantly, set an example by being non-violent and patient with others. Learn to control your anger, and your children will learn from your example. Express your feelings and words and teach your children that when they are upset, they can use words instead of hitting. Besides these general guidelines here are given the most significant and specific guidelines for a widespread and successful implementation to develop students' positive personalities right from their early childhood. Limit TV viewing to 1 to 2 hours a day and keep the TV out of children's bedrooms. Monitor your children's use of television, the internet, especially watching violent videos and playing brutal computer games. For a broader and long-term benefit the detailed guidelines and references of the supporting studies are given in the description part of this video. Moreover, ThinkTown One Channel aims at bringing comprehensive and practical material for a mass development study program. Thanks for watching ThinkTown One Channel. Please click the bell icon and subscribe to our channel for timely receiving exclusive videos on important topics.